Okay, we are back at CrossFit Mayhem for the final workout of the Open. If you're not familiar with what the CrossFit Open is, it is the first phase of the CrossFit season where we do one workout each week in our own gyms. We post that to the online leaderboard and then that advances you to the next phase of the season. So today we have our final workout. We have some thrusters, we have some gymnastics with chest to bar and some bar muscle ups and just an overall fun workout to close out the Open for this year. So I'm going to post my full workout next and then I will talk to you about how I felt in the workout any tips that I have and then we will check in with everybody else and close out the open season the right way so let's get started Like go fast in the beginning, fast at the end. Yeah. My arms, they hurt. They're pretty small. Ah, uh, so bad. What do you think after watching people go? Think of that American sniper meme where it's like everyone's good after the first five and then it's like. <laughs> it I thought like, one minute rest ain't really a rest. No, though. it's a rude. It's because. One minute rest gets your heart rate going, and then you have to start the whole set. And then you have to think about how bad. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I have five seconds left. Okay, go." Dead. And I think I'm gonna try to PR my friend <laughs> and get as much time as I can on that back end. <laughs> this is what I would like to be doing. Around, around. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Important part of this entire workout is that we took our shirts off and we were matching. Mm. Talk about on the same wave. And then what happened in the workout? We tied. We tied. <laughs> we tied. It was the color, I think. <laughs> yep. It was okay, 100% the color. We tied like we were in the same second, but she we locked tied. out like how many Point frames? Two. Seven frames. So Seven she frames. Won, but we had the same second, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we tied. She was still you should have yeah. sent a sync though. Yeah. yeah. We should have. Yeah. Well, we it was like, like com I was like, got off the barbell first, and then she would beat me on the bar. Like the muscle ups or the That's chest why bar. we would be like the best team because I'd be like, mm -hmm. you take the barbell. She's good at all of it, but like our strengths are different, so she could take the barbell, I'd take the gymnastics, <laughs> tag it out. But I, we were a little scared of the workout because it looks, mm -hmm. it looks fun on paper, yeah, fun. But then watching everybody go before they were like dying, boom. yeah. But I would say, I thought it was gonna hurt like the first open workout. Like that's what yeah. people made it look like was yeah, that kind of like, hurt. I was like, hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. I would say for me, I'm kind of a weirdo, but my grip did not blow up. But I think my grip didn't blow up because my legs blew up because I was trying to really like force the bar up and relax my hands so that my grip mm -hmm. never blew up on the thrusters. And you could just kind of, for me, yeah. I like gymnastics though, so then I can kind of catch my breath and not blow up on the gymnastics. The thrusters were yeah. the hard part. Yeah, my mine was just breathing, mm -hmm. but. I was like, my grip, I didn't feel during the workout, but I felt it once I was done. Like, after I laid on yeah. the floor, I like got up. I was like, oh, oh. my forearms. Yeah, they were like really tight. Like, but we both said when we came off the bar, it was like our legs would cramp. Yeah, coming down from bottom yeah, muscle ups, like, oh. I'd be like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to do seven more thrusters. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, as an athlete, for me, like a perfectionist, I feel like I executed the workout good but now i'm gonna go back and see the workout and look at that break i took right before the last set of the bar muscle ups and be like shoot get up there shoot <laughs> yeah but overall I, I couldn't i couldn't break before the i just had I to get up there because, yeah <laughs> no i very easily could have been a weenie but i had dom yelling at me 
And also, I was like, if I like hunch over and put my hands on my knees, I am not getting I back up. Over. I, I would not. Over. Yeah, but I'd be a hunch over for like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not but three Jake, seconds. Jake had me break up the first three sets of bar muscle ups, but I wish I would have, for myself, gone unbroken on the bar muscle ups so I could take that rest and apply it to before my thrusters. Mm. So probably the same time, but I think it would have felt better if I just hung on bar and then rested a little bit longer before the thrusters. Yeah. But I think, yeah. I think it just depends on the person. Yeah. And I think that's a workout that I wanted to try breaking everything up besides for like the thrusters because mm -hmm. Dom and I have kind of been working on that in training where it's so like break up, on. yeah, like sooner and like do more sets than I really want to. And I was like, you know what, I'm just, just it's an open, so I'm just gonna try it. I didn't it. know you were and doing that. And then I was yeah, next to you and you stopped. And six, I was like, four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. Because usually <laughs> in the past, like when I break, I don't, I don't like to break because then I sit there and stare at the bar but I've gotten better about like and breaking and then like, no. That's good. Mm -mm. I was, you were broke and I was like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I should probably be doing that. <laughs> but that's no, good. but I Anyways. mean, we finished literally like that one, one second, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we get done with the gymnastics, apart. she'd like break it, but I would, you'd finish the, thrust, the thrusters first and then you'd start on the bar. I would wait a second. I would go unbroken. You would break, break. and then we'd be done and we'd move on. Mm -hmm. But then you kind of pecked picked up the speed a little bit on the thrusters. A little bit, just for like one round though, because yeah. we ended up being the same yeah. on the last round. Now we're done. Guess what time it is? Wavelength. Coke Zero time. Coke Zero time. And Hobby Lobby time. And we want to go get our favorite chips and hummus. <laughs> but yeah. It's going to be a lit day. You're freaking pumped. <laughs> Nutrition. Done. Yeah. We're locked in. We're locked, locked in. in. Hey, we didn't, get to, we didn't get to hear from you. Like, this is what I heard. So he started the workout before us. We ended up just waiting for him to be done. He hits the floor, and I'm like, okay, I need to go see how it actually felt so I know how to prepare myself. So I'm like, hey, how'd it go? He goes, that was awful. I was <laughs> like, thank you. Thanks. I can't wait. <laughs> well, okay, also, like, everybody was like, oh, the first five rounds was just annoying. Yeah. Like, you just had to get through it. Round two, I was like, <clears throat> What if I drop the bar, walk to the bathroom, and just don't finish this workout? Yeah, because this like, is hard. Everyone's like, the first part is just like nothing, just pace it. Like, it's mm -hmm. nothing. Like, it's just a setup, you yeah. know? So make sure your breathing's under control, everything. I hit was thrusters something. in the second round, and I was like, <gasps> yeah, I was trying to not get panicky. I got panicky. Yeah. I, and then Jake I was, was like, when we were done, he was like, okay, you gotta go at this time. I was like, uh uh. Hmm. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Oh. How was it for you? Did your grip blow up? Because my grip did not blow Everything up. Everything blew up for me. Mm. You think it's a different workout for guys? Maybe. With the weight? Yeah. Maybe. What weight did you do? 135? 95, 135 for us. Did you relax your grip on the thrusters? Mm -hmm. I think it's a different workout. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I also think it's a different workout for each person. Like, everybody yeah. has to have their own strategy. So yeah. for me, I like yeah. I'm not gonna get panicky. I'll get panicky if I have to come off the bar. Mm -hmm. I just did it. I did the workout to try to manage my heart rate and to try to manage the chest of bar and bar muscle up gymnastics. Mine was to manage the thrusters. Yours was just to manage the, the whole thing. thing. <laughs> manage the whole thing. Yeah. I didn't I feel I like one thing was harder than the other. Yeah. I mean, I felt like I felt like the thrusters. Like I say that, but like it was during the movements was fine. I felt like, but it's once you like stopped. Mm-hmm. I was like, <gasps> yeah, ow. I'd say, yeah, I'm happy with my score, but I put expectation on myself when it comes to gymnastics workouts. So now I like go back to it and I'm like, I know you can be tougher here and here and here and here. So I like, pick it apart. So I'm just letting it go because it's an open workout and mm -hmm. you learn from it and you gave your best effort that day. Cause you don't know, like you go into it and you think it's gonna be the, that was just like a weird workout because mm -hmm. you don't know when it's gonna hit and it hits differently for each person. So you're just kind of waiting to get punched in the face and you don't know when, when that's gonna happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I experienced the legs though coming down from the Our bar legs muscle are up. Dead. Yeah. Yes. I like would hit the ground. I'd be like, oh, like my quads were like not yeah. ready to mm -hmm. pick the thruster up, uh -huh. even though I could still do the thrusters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people too. They were like, use your legs for the thrusters. I got it. I'm trying. I, was like I, trying to I used like, my back. I was yeah. trying to keep my arms like completely out of it and just like really drive with yeah. my legs and court like get it well, overhead. I go like this. 
on my thruster, and I'm <laughs> not kidding you, the second yeah. set of the light thruster, I was like, I'm not supposed to be feeling it right here, and it was all back. <laughs> so my back kind of lit up. The only thing that I feel like I didn't do a good job of mobilizing is my like front rack. Yeah. Should have done a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, it was a little bit here, but... I don't know what to get, like tell advice pe for people because I feel like I'm kind of weird when it comes to that. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's just different for everyone. Yeah, really. Pick a pace at I the was... beginning that you know it's like 50% of your friend time. Something yeah. that's like you're breathing, but you're not panicked Panic. and just calm yourself down, knowing that you want to just be able to move smooth on the second part. Mm -hmm. That'd be yep. my advice. Yep. Got some Friday night lights Good. tonight, so Woo time for a cozy meal. Okay, so I was gonna go and get a Coke Zero, but I just got so tired. So instead, I just stopped by the grocery store. I'm gonna make some chicken fried rice for lunch, do some work, head back for Friday Night Lights, see how everyone's doing with this workout with the community, and then call it a day. So I was making my um, chicken fried rice, which is probably the meal I could have, if you could choose one meal for your entire life. Chicken fried rice would probably be mine ever since I was a little girl. <clears throat> that was my favorite, especially when my mom would bring that to me before gymnastics practice. Just didn't get better than that. But anyways, um, so this person messaged me on Instagram and asked, he saw my beads and he was like, I'm bringing my 10 year old daughter to the Mayhem Friday Night Lights. Would you be willing to make her a bracelet? I'm like, of course. So I got busy, made her a little bracelet. I hope she likes it. We're gonna go find her whenever we get there. Hopefully she doesn't think I'm creepy for <laughs> giving her a bracelet, but I love being able to do that. So that was exciting. And then gonna head back to Mayhem and watch Friday Night Lights, get another workout in and call it a day. So let's do it. We're back at CrossFit Mayhem. So let's go see what's going on. How did you do that? on purpose. Your color bleeds over. Yes. What's your bet? Do you think that Rich will let me film him for this vlog or not? 100 <laughs> percent. Yeah. Actually, I, like... I give it 110 <laughs> percent. Look at it. Look how warm. Weight for men is 95. Weight for women is 65 pounds. Are you letting me film you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that is a yes. What did you say? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but, you know. Who are you? Jean Gerard. <laughs> Formula in. Formula in. Dom, 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 Dom. I just do a couple of warm ups for that. At least I know I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, yeah, Buffalo Brews Coffee Athlete on the One Day a Week Warrior Program by Rich Browning Jr. <laughs> one day um, a week sponsored by Mars. Coors Light and Buffalo yeah. Brew Coffee. <laughs> That's a killer combo, dude. Yeah. Hydrated. Morning, yeah. Same as hydrated. Buffalo Brew in the morning, Coors Light at night, baby. <laughs> Ow. Tell them what we're doing. We're finding this um, girl bracelet that she remembers. Yeah. We're trying, to, we're trying to find Riley. We're finding Riley. We're on a mission. All right, let's go. Where's Riley? Let's go ask her. Let's go ask her. This is Raleigh's first time ever at Mayhem. Yeah. 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 Thank y'all so much. Yeah. Well, warm welcome. <laughs> Making myself do it. <laughs> I agreed to do it. I'm like 11. I was like, you know what? Friday Night Light sounds good. I haven't done that in like seven years. It's like, Ben, I'll do it with you. And they were just like, kept waiting. <laughs> You're in better waiting. shape than Ben is. And I was like, damn it. Now I gotta do this. So it was good. It was cool. It's always fun to work out in front of people, not really, but you know. Lakeland was videotaping you. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. They need to see that it's okay to do hard things even when you don't want to. That's play. right. Thanks for saying. <laughs> Turn to do this to you. Hey, Dad. Arm muscle up probably good. What was the hardest it's part for you? Wow. Well, it's very, very grippy. I see you guys mean now, but I look at the camera, look at you. Yeah. I'll look at the camera. Talk to audiences. Yeah, for sure. I got 4.30 on my split time. No. 11.40 total time. Nice. It was very grippy. I paced it as much as I possibly could on the first one, I came down and I still blew up on the second one. So, but that was a really hard workout. Yeah. Good job, Ben. And we're better for it now. That's right. That's right. Okay, and that is a wrap on the 2024 open season. The consensus was on this last workout is pace the front smooth as fast on the second part and most importantly just enjoy the workout and enjoy throwing down with your community and if you like this content we have some more fun things coming up so don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next time